Hello and welcome back to my channel. Lynn Noakes from Lynn's Shabalicious is hosting a seven page journal swap with seven other lovely ladies. This month's journal page swap is for the lovely Lynn Noakes herself. Her chosen theme was uh, forest, nature, that kind of thing. Um, this one is quite chunky Lynn. it's um, I had so much left over that I tried to cram as much as I could into the envelope um, because this one I really enjoyed making this one it was this digital kit was from I will put the link in down below this one was from I believe her name is Liliana or Liana Scraps um, on Etsy. This one, I believe it was like, it's titled Nature, but I will actually get the link for the kit that I used and put that in the description box below. I've also used a couple of backing papers from Artie Mays. So you will find there's a few that you may recognise that are from Artie Mays' collection. So this is the first page um, and on the first page we have there's an owl sitting on a branch. Um, it's been backed with some tea stained uh, cheesecloth and some coffee dyed paper which is I scrunched it up so that it had like a, a shabby look to it. Uh, the and the flip envelope the was made from a backing paper from Artie Mays. I can't actually remember the kit that I got this particular one shade from. Because um, she's got so many lovely kits that I just literally printed loads of things off. So, so that opens up and we have um, a pocket here. I have a die cut peacock on there that's an iridescent pearlized paper inside we have there's a booklet on the front there's a pocket now that is I do actually know where there is and I think the backing paper might actually come from the same one it's ferns and uh, fern and mushrooms I believe it is so inside the pocket we have these are a mixture of tags from Liana scraps and Artie Mays. So that's just left plain on the back. I've printed a coffee stained effect on the back of the tags. And there's these ones, those have just been left plain so that Lincoln journal on them. That one is a little booklet, so link if you want to make a little you can either journal on there, put photos, or you can even make yourself a little booklet out of there yourself. I didn't do that um, with this because the, it was getting that chunky that I thought if I put any more coffee dyed papers or any more papers in here, it literally you, I would not have been able to have closed the uh, the pages. <laughs> so that was all just took back in there. That just has some twine, baker's twine, on the tag. Um, I also put some little gems in the corner. I don't know if it's, it's going to pick that up, but it's, they're quite, quite sparkly. So then when you open that, there's pages, coffee dyed pages in there. So that you can journal or pop some photos and that just flips over just to keep it all tucked up and that pops back in there. Then on the first page here we have, I'll just get it all out, It'll probably be easier. Again we have 
got some tags, a variety of tags. Again, I believe it's from the Fern and Mushroom collection, those ones. And that one is Liliana's. There's also a booklet with, oh, that pops in there. That's a little tag, there's a little pocket on there. So that just pops in there on the front. Uh, coffee dyed paper inside. And this little pocket there inside, which has a lot more, some more journey cards. And a booklet, another booklet that I've actually um, I printed a coffee dyed paper on the back of that. Okay, let's tuck back in there. Back in there in the pockets. So that's just a little booklet there. And again, that has little gems on. That's two tags from uh, the Fern and Mushroom from Artie Mays, I believe. And that's just dyed. I've just printed coffee dyed paper effect on the back. And we have Baker's Twine on the pools. Okay. So that'll pop back in there. So that's the first page. So let me turn over. Whoops. And then we have inside well, the first of all we have, there's a die cut uh, border that I punched out um, that has I don't know whether it'll pick it up but there's some crystal gems that are scattered on there this was an envelope took that folded I can't remember whose tutorial I followed for this basically it's just out of an A4 um, sheet or basically any rectangle sheet of um, paper card that you fold up and it's all done in one piece so there's no um, piecing together so inside there we have again some little journaling tags Oops. And again, these are, I can't remember where the tags, because it's a mixture from Liliana or Liana and Artie Mays. Okay. So that on the back. There's a die cut feather that's so it's like a pearlized uh, brown paper that I used. Inside the pocket there's more tags, journaling spots, left plain, that's a little envelope. And inside, there's just a little journaling card pop in. Like I said, Lynn, it is quite chunky, it is packed chock a block. So <laughs> feel free to take any out. These ones I do know came from um, Artie Mays, uh, Fern and Mushrooms, and they're backed. I just printed a tea dyed effect back in on. Came out quite nice and subtle. Then there's a belly band that goes across the top. 
that has again I don't know if it's picking it up but there's lots of crystals on there and there's a rose resin flower embellishment on there so those just tuck back inside behind the belly band and then these I took back in there the envelope now move on to the third page which on the top I've got a little fox paper clip inside there oh and we have some more die cuts are off uh, with the same brown pearlized paper that i use there with a couple of rhinestones trying to hold it all together so it doesn't all fall apart there's some rhinestones in the middle of the body there and another resin rose oops motor shot another resin rose there Now we have an envelope which was from the Artie Mays Fern and Mushrooms kit. Inside there we have more ephemera, journaling cards. Again, these little booklets. Lynn, you can make some, yeah, Lynn can make some little around coffee dyed papers if she if she wants to and put put them in there. another booklet there so you can make another booklet out there if you want or just use it as a journaling spot to tuck any journal any photos or notes there we have another one journaling card This was another one that another a bigger version of that smaller envelope um and i basically i just stuck that to the page so that will actually there's a tuck spot behind use that you can actually use that to goes all the way down there so pop it in there there's quite a lot of pockets in this one so Get out on this one, I can't remember. That's another envelope from the Artie Mays kit, digital kit. These ones, I believe, are Liliana's or Liana's. And I made little booklets out of those. Lots of journaling cards. lovely images I just all took back into the envelope okay and now I've just got to remember now where I had all these tucked in <laughs> I'll go there on there so that's the third page and go on to the back again we have more pockets more tuck spots journaling cards these are very um liana's scraps the uh, images on there are like they're very 
vintage, they have a vi very vintage feel to them. And here we have a, another little pocket booklet. Uh, that's a die cut with a bird cage with a bird on. Uh, another resin. Okay, another resin rose. With some gold peel off corners. It's edged in a gold peel off edging. Inside we have a little pocket. It's glued onto the back. With more tags, journaling tags. Little jack booklets. And some coffee dyed paper. I can never have enough coffee dyed paper, I think. It just has a lovely, just a lovely feel to it. And now we've got some more tags, uh, journaling cards. I just love that owl. Just solving, it's just like vintage and That's another die cut, border die cut that I've used there. That's that. Then we have another, yet another folder with some die cuts. Again, there's that feather and the butterfly, which is, I have left it because if I've left it so that you can just fit in flat. But it can also, you can fluff the fluff the wings up if you want them there as well. Then this is like a little foil folder that's full of even more tags and ephemera. That's, that's like a ticket. That's actually from Artie Mays. That one. And I think those tags are from Artie Mays. And each divider has a little bit of something inside. Okay. Oh, I've got some, put some labels in for you to use as well. So you can use that throughout the journal because it's not, it's not like, you know, just specific for this particular page. It's very generic that you can. Okay. And then we have the last little envelope. Again, that's from Artie Mays, Fern and Mushrooms. That's a journaling card from Liana Scraps. Okay. So there you go, Lynn. I hope that you can actually fit this in your journal when it's finished because, as I say, it's a very chunky. Um, but I'm pretty sure you'll mudge about with it so that you'll get it to fit or you'll get it to fit some way into your journal. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next page. Thank you. Bye.